Well, good evening, friends. Thanks for joining us on this beautiful New Year's Eve. If you're watching this video, you were with us, one of the very fortunate ones that has survived 2020. And there's only there's less than an hour left in, in 2020. <laughs> what a year it's been. I just wanted to make a quick video thanking all y'all for your support and following our channel and liking our videos as we started a new endeavor this year with starting a YouTube channel and it's been challenging because I absolutely hate cameras and talking to cameras <laughs> so it's been a it's been a challenge to me to overcome but I'm grateful to y'all for uh, supporting us and, and watching our videos and and subscribing and telling others about it we, we really appreciate it so everybody can agree we all had a bizarre year 2020 was a bizarre year um, just kind of some of the challenges we had uh, I was I was working for an electrical company the first of the year and the main contract for building new homes uh, that they had that we wired all the new homes um, they actually lost the contract so uh, I can't remember if it was I think it was late January or early February I was actually laid off unexpectedly no warning at all um, we just got laid off so that was a little bit of a challenge and didn't know where the Lord was leading us and what he was gonna have me do um, I had been trying to get in with this construction company for for quite some time because it's a great company to work for. The man that owns it is a Christian man, and he's a great guy to work for, and it's a great great group of guys there. So I approached him again and asked him if he would be interested in hiring me, and offered to do pretty much anything. It didn't have to be just electrical work. I'd sweep floors if they needed me to. So in the meantime, I was laid off. I think it was from the second day. I was laid off third day. The electrical company that I was working for actually contacted me back and asked them if I would come back on and help them finish up some of the houses that they had going still. And that was an answer to prayer. I mean, it was a huge blessing because I didn't know. I mean, with nine kids, I'm the sole provider of income for the family. It was a lot of stress, a lot of stress. So I was extremely grateful to the Lord uh, for allowing me to be able to get hired back on. Um, and then I, I come back on to work for them for another month and month and a half, something like that. And the, the construction company actually hired me on uh, full time. And that was, a, that was a huge blessing. So I've been with them ever since. Um, the Lord has blessed tremendously um, with a great job, great coworkers, um, increase in pay than what I was making even a year ago. Uh, so I'm I'm thankful to God for for his blessings in that um, it was challenging <laughs> We didn't see the full picture in the beginning. So it was it was stressful, but uh, It pays to rely on and trust in the Lord because He has a plan even though we can't see it. We have to trust him. So I'm thankful for that trial It worked out better for my family in the long run. So fast forward I'd been where probably well I started in March um, April 1st, <laughs> I come down with coronavirus, and then two to three days later, the rest of my family come down with it, because at that point, they had already been exposed to it. So really don't know exactly where I got it, because we weren't going out much, but um, it, was, it was challenging. Um, I probably had it the worst of any of our family, and... I went to the doctor a couple of times. That was before they were giving tests out to anybody to like to try to test people on a regular basis. And you had to be in really bad shape to get tested. So I wasn't, I'm thankful I wasn't in that bad of shape, but um, breathing difficult. It felt like trying to breathe through a water hose. It was, it was not fun at all. We, and our, all the rest of the family didn't, didn't really experience anything other than fever and just kind of fatigue, uh, minor symptoms and the baby had a little bit of breathing difficulty but nothing nothing bad at all uh, lasted three weeks we had fevers i think before it finally went away that was a challenging month um so but then 
I mean, with all the blessings that have come, good and bad, um, I'm 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 thankful. It's we we've, we've started our homesteading. We we've accumulated a few animals. Started being able to cut hay on our field. Got our tractor. Uh, got another hay mower. Got another baby on the way. She'll be here within the next few weeks, hopefully. Um, so it's been it's been a challenging year, but it's been a great year too. It's been a year full of blessings. So we're thankful, and I'm sure most of you can relate as well. So um, anyway, I don't want to spend too much time rambling. I'd love to hear some of your challenges and blessings that you've had in this year. Um, so if you would comment down below and share those, we, I'd love to love to hear your stories as well. So. Anyway, as we close uh, close in on uh, 2021, um, let's hope it's going to be a great, a better year than 2020 was. <laughs> uh, I think we have more toilet paper now than we had coming into last year, uh, but I suspect things are not going to get any better anytime soon. So we just keep trusting the Lord and moving forward and and living day to day, and everything's going to work out. So. Uh, we really appreciate you joining us, and we will see you next year. 